he changed it up. So he's creeping the, the top creeps. Um, less identical play than I expected. <laughs> oh my god, Moon is doing Priestess of the Moon. So I really did not expect that. Ancient of War creep on the Murkamp with Priestess of the Moon. And Remind doing a, a Demon Hunter. So these guys know each other so well that they both did something different. Because typically what you would expect is uh, both creeping with Demon demon Hunter on the Murkamp and then expanding. Instead we see Priestess of the Moon with Murkamp creep, which is really unusual. Usually you see uh, Priestess of the Moon without any kind of Ancient of War creeping. Two Ancient of Wars at home with Hunter's Hall and uh, Mass Hunter's uh, aggression going over to Glaive Throwers. The second thing we see the most with Priestess of the Moon is uh, just one Ancient of War Huntress, a quick tech, an expansion at some point, and uh, Dark Ranger or Naga second, uh, and getting some some uh, Dryads after that. Uh, basically using True Shot to have a nice big Dryad army and damage, and uh, using economical advantage. And maybe that's what Moon is going for. That Wisp will have, uh, will have seen it and will have uh, relayed back um, the change, but it's almost a, they both countered each other and in the end didn't counter anything. Yeah, so um, I don't know what Remind's plan was, but what he did magically is uh, actually in a good position to counter what uh, Moon is doing, because meaning being a, as it is that he crept that camp first, he was ready to go into the map much sooner than usually. And that means that uh, that will definitely help him now uh, in harassment. Because what you want to do against Priestess is harass so that she doesn't get level 2 or 3 very easily. And uh, Romain did hire the, the Troll Priest there to take it away from uh, Moon. Did an excellent block there with his Demon Hunter stopping the Priestess from advancing. However, the Priestess is faster than the Troll Priest. A battle of the Priests here um, as the Troll Priest is rushing into the Moon to try and heal. And the Priestess of Moon is trying to uh, stop him from doing so. And he's using a Wisp there with a very clean block. He needs to get at least two, three more seconds of blocking. Can he do it? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. In the nick of time, heals up his Priest. And in the same time, nearly loses his Archer. However, it got hidden. And that means it won't die because Moon would, uh, Remind would have to go all the way to the shop to uh, get Dust of Appearance and come back. And by that time, ar that Archer will be long gone. And uh, in the meantime, the priests didn't stop chasing the priest, but the priest somehow gave it the slip, and he decides to go home. Did finish up a hunter's hole here. So uh, we see one inch of war. Tree of life canceled the tree of life. And going for a tech instead, perhaps? No, is he going for a second inch of war? Yes. And perhaps some Wisps near Remind's base for APs. No, he sees Demon Hunter coming up, sends them back home. So we saw a drastic change in Moon's plan. At first he thought he'll do the one Huntress expansion thing, but with Remind being so aggressive... He's gonna lose the Ancient oh, War as well. Just in time, he canceled it. So uh, Moon switched up his plans to go for two Ancient of Wars. He's really freestyling here, I feel. This is definitely not going exactly as he planned. Um, suddenly switched it up, go for two Ancient of War Huntress to do aggression. It got cancelled, and I wonder, is he going to make Ancient of War again, or will he again change up his plans with a tech now, perhaps? Now, where does this leave us in the, in the scheme of the map, with Moon just sort of, as you, as you rightly put it, freestyling? Is he comfortable in this sort of a position? Oh, big mistake there by Moon. He attacked the wrong unit. He could have killed the Troll Berserker. I would say... Moon is comfortable freestyling, yes, and neither is Remind playing exactly as he had planned. So they're both in oh, more unknown it. territory, and that was a beautiful kill by Moon. Still getting that troll literally milliseconds before it would heal up on the Moonwell. And Please nearly forward. taking down that Wisp. Can he cut it off with the Priestess? No. Saves his Huntress with 5 HP. This game is uh, all about the little numbers there, uh, which we so often see in Warcraft 3, and one of the reasons so many people love uh, watching Warcraft 3 games. Those little things which have a huge impact upon the game. Having just the kill or just the save. So we are uh, sort of end to end in this one uh, in our opening minutes. And uh, Moon is uh, going to go for the uh, Ancient Protectors. Yep. And we see uh, so the classical response to Mass Huntress is to get bears as soon as you safely can. Uh, bears do very well against Huntress. It's not about damage type. They're just much more resilient. They have spells. Um, like 
archers and dryads do really well against hunts too, but they become obsolete once glaive throwers are out. They die very quickly. Whereas bears are very good against anything that a tier one priestess mass hunts player can do. Excuse me. So uh, I really like what Moon did there. He uh, he finally decided to do the ancient of protector push, and he's got two APs finished already. And Remind has nothing. He cancelled his tier three tech. Bears aren't going to cut it here. Dryads do very well against hunts, but they don't do very well against APs. And he, he's, he can't get an AP up. He can't get an Ancient Protector up. And this shop is in danger, so he decided to make a second one already. If it got cancelled, he can, might as well cancel that now since his first one finished. Uh, and he's picking up some damage there. One Demon Hunter with one and a half uh, hero level. Uh, I even have to add that one of the creeps here in the start, by remind, got killed by an Ancient of War, so he didn't get full experience from that camp. But I can't say that it has a huge effect on how the game has gone. Even if he had got 1.7 DH, he didn't kill a unit since, so he still wouldn't be level 2. It might be crucial a little bit later than that though, but uh, with a level 2 demon, uh, with a level 2 Priestess of the Moon here by Moon, uh, <laughs> a Priestess of the Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, that means that he has Searing Arrow and True Shot. And uh, normally we see this happening with uh, level 1 Priestess. Um, this uh, creep camp that he did in the start really helped him to uh, get a better Priestess uh, here. Early bear by for rejuvenation by the Demon, but the Demon can't do things by himself. He is only level 1, not level 6 after all. And uh, 4 APs coming in. At the same time, Moon must be bolstering his army with Glaive Throwers. One coming in, one already arriving, two arriving, two glaive throwers, and one more coming up. And uh, excellent game by Moon, uh, freestyling as he likes, doing the best. He uh, he changed his plans so quickly. He made Tree of Life, cancelled it before Remind even scouted it, uh, on account of the how the game was going. Uh, Remind's aggression and the fact that Remind wasn't level two demon yet. Uh, he was just level one, but trying to thwart whatever Moon's doing. And Moon is like. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna invest in economy. I know that I can take you head on now. And very fast decision by him to go for uh, for a push here. And how easy is it to, to do what Moon's done and, and just drop everything and change? So other players may reach the same decision as Moon, but they may reach it 10 or 20 seconds later. And it might not be as good anymore then. And uh, you almost can't speak in terms of uh, whether it's easy or hard. It's just you have it or you don't. Uh, by by your talent or by your your experience, just to reach the proper conclusion really fast and and to reach the proper conclusion, and uh, I think yeah this was really nice. From this point onwards, it's very easy to play out the good game for Moon and uh, it's good game by R Remind. Very nice game by Moon. I must say I'm really surprised that he uh, that he won this game, uh, two to one. Uh, also uh, on the maps that were played, but uh, he definitely deserved the win. All right. Well, congratulations to Moon and. Grubby, fantastic commentary. Thank you very much for uh, coming with us. I do hope you'll join us uh, for the consolation match and for the grand final. Which uh, might be today or it might be tomorrow. It kind of depends whether they stick to their uh, schedule that they announced uh, last night or this morning. And uh, that's anybody's guess. But um, if it is today, I'll definitely join you again. It was really fun. Great. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. We will be back with Counter-Strike uh, as, uh, as soon as we know when, uh, when that's going to be played. I did see uh, XP3 poke his head through the door, so I would imagine not too long from now. So from Tosspot and Grubby, thank you very much.